In Chile, a decade-long drought in the capital, Santiago, has gone from bad to worse due to scorching Julys. Officials say that such happenings at the time of the year, when the city is usually in rain and snow, are clear evidence of global warming. More on this report. A lack of precipitation this year has left the towering and typically snow-capped Andes above Santiago mostly bare. Reservoir levels low and farm fields parched. The city's central weather station recorded just 78 millimeters of rainfall so far this year. It is drastically less than last year's 180 millimeters and an average amount of 252 millimeters. Que estamos enfrentando... We are facing the worst hydrological crisis, the worst drought in our history. We are in the 13th year of drought. We have never had more than four consecutive years before. This has been the driest period of Chile's history since the start of the registers. Some scientists and politicians in Chile are warning of growing and potentially irreversible water shortages in the central region. Officials have warned that two rivers, the Mopacho and the Maipo, that provide Santiago with water are drier than they were in 2019, the driest year in the country's entire history. Much of the effects of climate change in the short term and medium term are irreversible. So unfortunately, it is unlikely that the precipitations in Chile's central area of the 80s and 90s will return, that we will recover that type of climate in regards to the temperatures and of extraordinary precipitation. That's unlikely from here on towards the middle of the century. In a recent report, the United Nations has warned that extreme heat waves, which not long ago struck once every 50 years, are now to be expected once per decade. It's said that droughts and downpours might also be much more frequent.